It's the Sandra Law character that's the interesting character in Sudden Impact. She's motivated by anger and by pain. The aggrieved gang rape survivor turned serial killer hunting down the men and the woman who had raped her. Then I bought a gun. I followed him to a bar, let him pick me up, let him drive me to a deserted spot. Then he touched me, and I killed him. I mean, that's an interesting character. You know, you don't see females seeking vengeance very often in movies, and especially as brutally as she's doing it. What is that doing in a Dirty Harry movie? It's very unusual to see that kind of darkness and that kind of human complexity and human suffering in a Dirty Harry movie. You take me, because this time you'll have to rape my dead body. She cuts a powerful figure in someone who can relate to Harry's vigilantism. This is the age of lapsed responsibilities and defeated justice. Today, an eye for an eye means only for caught. And even then, it's an indefinite postponement, and uh, let's settle out of court. When Sondra Locke starts talking about victims' rights, it could be actually dialogue written for Harry. What about my sister's rights when she was being brutalized? There is a thing called justice. And was it justice that they should all just walk away? She is his alter ego. And she does run around putting away bad guys, just like Harry does. Ask your slut sister. He comes under the realization that uh, most of the murders turned out to be vengeance killings by this person. Then he's got a huge dilemma of almost falling for this person and certainly being sympathetic to what, what she's been through. What happens now? He has to make a decision about whether to allow this righteously aggrieved rape victim to get away with, with the serial killing she's done. Running through ballistics. I think you'll find his gun there was used in all the killings. Then it's over? Yeah, it's over. He's down there on a police investigation to find a serial killer. He has found the serial killer. He lets her go. It's a powerful ending, and overall a, and a grim and lurid, but well-made and very thought-provoking movie.